Hey everybody, this is John Hare and Horses. Thanks for stopping by. When it comes to horses, I like to do things that make my life a little bit easier and help build a better relationship with my horse. I'm no big time trainer or have a whole lot of knowledge. I'm just really a regular guy with a horse. So as I learn things, I kind of like to spread it around. You know, next to picking up manure, the next big chore with having a horse is picking up their feet. Some horses give you their feet very easily. Some are kind of stubborn about it. Probably a lot of you already know this little trick and maybe this tip's not for you. But if you're new to horses and you've been struggling with your horse's feet, maybe it'll help out. This is a tip I learned while watching a Clinton Anderson video at least a decade ago. And it really stuck with me. Used it on my horse and I really think it helps out. Not only when you pick their feet, but your farrier will appreciate it too. Jessie knows this drill pretty well, so I'll show you the technique on her first, and then we'll try it on one of the other horses. This is the hoof pick I like to use. It's a handmade Jeremy Dunn hoof pick. See his maker's mark right there. And the reason I like this is it's got a pretty sharp point. So when I'm digging into that soft tissue to try and get that manure and stuff out of there, it does a pretty good job. I also like a hoof pick that has kind of a 90 degree angle right here and right here so that I can scrape the mud off the outside of the horse's hoof. So I give Jessie a cue to pick up her foot by tapping here three times. One, two, three. Give her a second to pick up her foot and then I can clean it out. And of course, if you got dogs around, they're gonna wanna get into this and eat it all up. This is where that 90 degree angle comes in handy to scrape away the stuff here. This is why I like this sharp edge right here because then you can, if there's mud on the front of the hoof, you can just go right around. If you like scraping that off, you can do that. The back foot, I try to do the same thing. Tap on that foot, get her to take it up, bring it back. Get my leg out of the way so you can see, and then pick that foot up too. When they set it down, I try to give it a nice good rub, make it feel like uh, that was the only reason I really wanted to pick that foot up in the first place. So we got Jess done. Uh, let me show you a horse that may not be quite as good at doing that as uh, she is, and I'll show you how I taught it. This is Scratch, I've had him for about five years now. He's a 15 year old gelding that came out of the wild herd in the nearby Tehachapi Mountains. Scratch was a stallion for seven years in a wild herd. So sometimes uh, when we first started training and I asked for his feet, it's kind of like that cartoon where the guy says, get out of here, boy, you bother me. Say, go away, boy, you bother me. Scratch is one of those horses who says, once you got my feet, you can do with me whatever you want. But if you expect me to hand them to you, that's another story. He is getting better about picking up his feet for me, so we'll see what happens. I'd start the same way as I tap three times, two, three, and if he doesn't pick up his foot right away, I take my fingernail and just put it right here and just give it a little pinch. Doesn't take much, but he'll lift his foot up and get his weight off of there. From there, I can actually then pick it up, just pull it up slightly, or I can ask him again. And then I just set it back down gently. There you go. Good boy. It's not much of a pinch, it's just my fingernail and squeeze. And I just hold it there 
until he gives it. Then I let it go. Tap three times. Do a little pinch. Fix it up. I let it go. And with repetition, he gets better and better with it. One, two, three, get a little pinch, pick it up, rub it up, and clean it up. Dogs love this stuff. It's like steak to them. There you go. Good boy, Scratchy. It's a simple little trick that you can use to teach your horse to pick his feet up. You'll appreciate it, and so will your farrier. I know you have a lot of choices as far as the channels that you watch on YouTube, and I really appreciate you stopping by mine. If this was the kind of video that you found helpful, please hit the like button. Better do it for now. I hope to see you out on the trail one day. But until then, go have some fun with your horses. Bye-bye, everybody.